Welcome to the Neon Cradle Nightclub, a place to go party hard after a long week on the 9 to 5 grind. Today, I'm going to show you lovely people how to rob this joint. Not only is this a solo stealth, not only is this on overkill, not only have I gotten all of the loot, but we are also going to be doing this maskless. Yep, you heard that right. I have solo stealthed Rock the Cradle in Payday 3 on Overkill without putting my mask on. How, you ask? That's the reason I'm making this video, silly. Without further ado, let's go rob ourselves the crypto wallet. And, oh, Wolf, what are you doing? Your first objective is to actually get into the damn building. Normally, on normal, hard, and very hard difficulties, you are immediately let into the building to party on the dance floor with Wolfie. However, on Overkill... Private event tonight. Can't let you in if you aren't on the list. What do you mean I'm not VIP? Do you know who I am? Once you've done chat and smack to the bouncer, make your way over to the alleyway to your right. Pick this lock to get inside, and you're in. Be careful though, because if guards spot you, the entire building is private. Which means that you will either A, be kindly escorted out, or B, lose your temper and give the guard a lead sandwich. But if you're a very sneaky main like myself, make your way upstairs towards the club accountant's office. Beepity boppy on the computer, and then your next objective is to hack Rafiki's phone. To do this, you've got to stay on her ass as the hack takes place. Once the hack is done, you get a QR code. Take that QR code upstairs, scan the thing on the wall, and bang, you've got yourselves an invitation. However, this is only a blank invitation, which means you need to find an authenticator machine scanner thingy-majig and authenticate the invitation. Once that's all done, you officially do not need to sneak around in private areas anymore, because now, in the guard's eyes, you're a VIP, baby. And you can now use this privilege to head downstairs to hang out with the secret society. However... As of recording this, I encountered a small problem. As I went up to the bouncer to show that I was indeed a special person, in more ways than one, normally the door should open for you and you are allowed through with ease. But on overkill, they didn't let me in. Uh, I walked away from them and then walked back to see if I could reset the interaction. But again, nothing. So I did the old classic cheesy move of Make a little bit of ruckus in one room. What did I just hear? Let the bouncers investigate the footsteps, and as they were investigating, <laughs> yoink. Swipe the key card on the door, door opens, and bada bing bada boom, you're in. Not to worry though, because the Starbreeze devs know about this issue. So hopefully, this will be addressed soon. However though, we are gonna need this blue key card later. So even though you may have had to cheese this part a bit, it will come in handy for the next step. So now you made it downstairs to the basement, huh? Good stuff, because this is where stuff gets a little bit tricky. Next up, you have to find the crypto wallet that is stored in a vault in the IT room. How do you get into the IT room? There's a geezer guard in the way. But thanks to my cheesy little ways, there's a way you can get by this guard without having to put your mask on. So he stood there, right? And the normal way you would go about this is to mask up, sneak through a vent, get into the room. Uh, boring. Instead, because he's brain dead, just crouch next to him and pick the lock. Makes sense. And just like that, you're in. Once you're in the area, though, it's a secure area, so don't make any noise. Otherwise, the guard will waltz in on you to investigate. Take this close call, for example. <laughs> don't see me, don't see me. Anyways, you've got the door open, but ah, shucks, I need a red key card. Well, let's go find one then, shall we? To get the red key card, you'll need to make your way up to this office here. Even though there's a camera here guarding the door, but because, like I mentioned before, I'm the sneaky man. I can just lockpick it whilst I'm being just out of the camera's view. Now, we're in. The key card is sometimes in this safe here, that when you crack it, it reveals a possible code to the vault as well, as well as a key card. But I'll get to that bit later. But for the most part, it's always somewhere in this office. Once you have it, make your way to the IT room and swipe it on the door. Now on the whiteboard will be one of two things, a code and a color. The code is for the correct fuse box which is connected to the vault's locks, and the color is the color of the switch you need to flick to unlock the vault. Okay, remember that I foreshadowed earlier that you're gonna need that blue key card for later? Well, now's the time. So what you want to do is make your way back up these stairs and into this room here. This is the room with all of the fuse boxes. Now, if you remember from earlier, we are looking for this code and this color. Once you've identified it, flip the switch and make your way back to this office here, where you will need to grant access from this computer to unlock the door to the vault, which holds the crypto wallet. Once you've unlocked it, make your way back, grab the wallet, throw it into the drop-off and bang, 
you can escape. However, we are not done here just yet. Because you know I'm so good at foreshadowing, yeah? Remember that vault I mentioned earlier? Now it comes into play. Because obviously, we're going for all the loot. Besides the vault, make sure you look around for these crates which have a specific white powdered substance in them. And if you go back upstairs into the club and make your way into these balcony rooms, there are paintings in there which you can nick. However, there's nothing fishy about you grabbing these bags in these areas because you're now technically in a public area with your new crowned VIP status. So you can just grab these paintings and waltz your way down and drop them off of the bag drop off. Or you can chuck them down the elevator shaft as a nice little shortcut. Oh yeah, and don't forget about the painting that is just sitting there next to the invitation like my stupid ass. Okay, that's all of the side loot out of the way, back to the vault. So earlier when we cracked open that safe in the office, there was a code inside. In this office, there are three different papers with codes on them. Find them and jot them down. Head back to the vault and using your UV light, you can see the fingerprints of what numbers have been pressed. Use the code you found earlier and a bit of detective skills to find the correct code. Open the vault and tell them to bring me my money. Yeah! Once you've gone all the bags to the drop off, the objective will cross off, meaning you've completed it. Make your way to the escape. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you solo stealth, rock the cradle on overkill without ever putting your mask on. That is where the video is going to end. Payday 3 has been an absolute blast so far. I've had a lot of fun playing with friends and solo like you saw in today's video. And I'm looking forward to making more videos in the future on this game for you guys. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful in any way, make sure to leave a like. Or if you really enjoyed it, perhaps subscribe to my channel for more, um, content. I mean, it, it's content. I've been Lil Guy G. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. See you later, heisters. Hold up. Wait a minute. I have an announcement to make. Okay, Joker, we, we've rehearsed this. Just press the button and do the explosion. Okay, I'll do it.